Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button. It's totally free and also hitting the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with. I want to mention that up top there's three little buttons right on the corner, on the right hand corner for most of you, some, for some of you it's in your settings. I do have a link to the video below in the description box to teach you if you're not understanding how I'm explaining to slow down the video. You can click there, it's a two minute video. Very simple, it's just a click, click away. You can slow down the video by clicking the three little buttons up top and slow down to the speed you would like. Also right next to it, there's the letter CC. You can turn that on and that will be for closed caption. All the stitching, everything that I mention and say will be written down here. You can pause, stop the video, take notes, and it will help you to understand the pattern. I don't write patterns. I get asked a lot about it and for those reasons, I ask of you to slow down the video. I know sometimes I'm a little bit too fast for these recordings, and I apologize for that. It's just that I get my on my own bubble. This is all new to me also, so it's just a question of getting practice and recording, which I'm not fully used to yet. I'm getting comfortable at this point. So I want to thank every single one of you that have been from the start with me, have commented, shared, have tagged me. Um, Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your lovely, wonderful comments. Thank you again so much to every single one of you. Also for the people that came through, the women that came through with donations and also uh, some um, donations for the women in need of threat. Thank you so much. Some of you have shipped it yourselves. I gratitude all the way. And some of you have donated into my PayPal account and into the super thanks that's below the, the video it has a dollar sign symbol on it. Thank you so much to everyone that has participated in trying to help out one way or another. Okay, so um, we are going to get started. Any questions, suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, you could always get a hold of me if you're stuck with some project like some of you do uh, into message me through Instagram. I do have a Facebook group, private group, because there's a lot of scammers and fraud into the crochet groups now. So you have to be careful. Don't open links that say cut or bit on it. Those are fraud scammers. Be careful, people. They steal people's identity and pictures and they post there with those links pretending that it's them. So stay away from that or report them in as spam. That's what I usually do. Uh, for those reasons, my group is private. You're more than welcome to join us in our group. Beautiful group of people we have there. Uh, we're one growing family. You can just request, and I'm sure one of the monitors will respond to you ASAP. Uh, I also do have the crochet page. You can follow that there too, or my Instagram or TikTok. So there's so many ways you can get a hold of me. My email is below also. So anything that you're stuck with, feel free to ask uh, or suggestions. Remembering that I am in Europe, my time frame could be different than yours. Sometimes I will have to take a few hours before I answer you because I must be sleeping. It's overnight and it must be morning for you in your country. Okay, so we're going to get started, everyone. And I bless you. I hug you. And please keep your optimism always up and high and never think that you cannot do this pattern. We are not born learned. We, we, we are born to learn. Okay, you can do all things as long as you persist. Be patient with yourself and, and just continue on. Anyone can create anything they want. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Thank you. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to create this, if you want to call it oval, maybe a little bit oval. I don't know what's the name for it. Um, this was a picture sent to me to have it created. Um, the person wanted to be like for a dresser. So because I have a little bit of extra yarn everywhere from different colors. So I went along with this color just to give you the example. And we're going to create it. 
on this yellow mustard color so you can see better the stitch not that you can't see of this one but i wouldn't have enough of this gray it's a gray and uh pink I wouldn't have enough of it to complete, so I didn't want it to look too funny once I've uh, started to create it. So I'm going to use this one. I will have enough out of this one. It's about, um, I think, 75 grams, if I'm not mistaken, out of this gray. And, of course, only about 15 to 20 grams out of the pink, which is only slip stitch all the way around. It's a little bit of details to pay attention to, but nothing complicated. Very simple. I'm going to use a 2.75 hook. A small one to tuck in loose ends of course and a pair of scissors and my old scissors it was so old already has retired on me poor thing so thanks to Barbara Fout that sent me the package of uh, hooks and this was in it also so thank you Barbara and here I am going to make this my my newest uh, scissor to, to use. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel. I send you all much love and much hugs. We're going to get started. So these are four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. Uh, similar as Aunt Lydia, a little bit thinner. So obviously my pattern becomes a little bit smaller because it is thinner this is 42 centimeter or 43 centimeters uh long by 33 centimeters wide this is perfect for like a small area um in this case uh the lady is going to create hers for her bedroom um night tables and um so it's perfect for that too okay i don't know who the creator of this pattern is this is a picture sent to me if i do know the creator and become across who created designed then i will list her name below if i get any information on it uh, so we're going to get started thank you so much everyone so the first thing you want to do is that magic circle in case you do have a hard time still with the magic circle you can do a six chain and I'm going to do one chain just to lock that in, pull my string a bit because I don't want it to be out of control of my hands. I'm going to come back in and do a single and two chain. My single and two chain is my double crochet. I am going to create uh, three more. So I'll have a total of six double crochets. So I have four, uh, not six, I'm sorry. So I'm done four double crochets. And chain three. I have to keep in mind. I have to look at my pattern always and look at it. So, and now I'm going to create six double crochets. So chain three, six double crochets. This is gorgeous in any color combo you want to do, which is solid color. Two, four, five, and six. Chain three again. Now I'm going to close it up. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do only two more because we're meeting the other four double crochets so we can have are six total so I'm going to come just gonna close it up well over here make sure it's well closed so on my not where I have the chain here that we did single to chain but right behind the next one I'm gonna pull my thread to the back and close it up so we can have a nice firm and not and not have like a line going up and then you just adjust it fix it so we have six double crochets on one side and six on the other I'm going to come back in on the same space that we brought it to the back and do a single and chain two that will be my double crochet 
So I'm going to come back into the same space. We're doing increases of two double crochet per space. Next space, two double crochet. Next space, two double crochet. So now we have a total of two, four, six double crochets. Remembering that when we closed in, we pretty much started working on the fourth double crochet. Okay, so two, four, six. Actually, the third double crochet. I don't know why I said. Well, yeah, fourth from the three here. I don't know. Sometimes you have those days that are just like, I think, one too many for me. Okay, and one inside of the three chain space. Chain three again. Come back in. Double crochet. Again, on top of the double crochet from the previous row, we're going to do the increase again of two double crochets per space. So remembering what we will be doing on this side. So basically will be a repeat on this side also. Because if I keep recording every little detail on each side, on both sides, which is the same, my phone's going to run out of memory, and this phone is not all there sometimes, you know. So two double crochets each. This is row two, and one inside of the space. Chain three, and again, one inside of the space, and complete the other three double crochets by adding the increasing two per space. Into that single and two chain that we went up. Two on the same space, and then we're going to close it in with a slip stitch. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Let me just confirm on this side two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Why do I have fourteen on this side? Maybe I overdid a stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Thir no, thirteen. I don't know why. No, because we have this one here. Okay, let me just check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So I couldn't figure out why I had thirteen on one side and 14 on the other, and I just noticed my mistake. So instead of doing the increase, I put one only, and this is important, we have to pay attention. Make sure you count it properly. So I missed one back here, where we can't be missing any because it will bring us problems in the next rows. And usually I don't add it when I make mistakes because it shows you me too. I make mistakes and we can just go back and fix it. So back into that one chain in the center, three chain, not one chain, the double crochet, three chain, one double crochet, and then do the rest of the adding. Now we should be able to be 14 on each side or 13. I'll recount that again just to make sure that we do have it all in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so we're good to go. So now we're going to come from behind, not on the same one to chain that we did, but the one 
right behind it and we're going to bring this to the back we don't want the line showing as we're going up okay so now we're going to come into the same space create a single this is row three and in the same space another double crochet so now we have two double crochets chain two we're going to skip one two space so double crochet and one on the same space again so we're going to skip these two so chain two we're going to come into the center of the three chain and do two double crochet chain three and two more double crochet chain two we're going to skip the first two here and come into the third one and do two double crochet and again chain two skip two into the next one or the third one and two double crochet chain two skip two into the next one and two double crochet chain two skip two into the next one and two double crochet chain two into the center Create your two double crochets, chain three, come back into the center, and two more double crochet, chain two, skip the first two, chain two, skip one, two, and into the next one, and create your two double crochets on the same space chain two and I'm going to close it in with slip stitch on my second chain because we did a single and two chains going up so just straighten it out so they can have that oval sort of okay so you're going to have before the corner you have one two three four groups one two three four groups on the other side going into row four i'm going to come back in where we closed in with a slip stitch do a single chain two we're going to start to increase on this second double crochet we're going to add two together chain two into the next one double crochet and two together chain two we are at the edge here so at the edge we're going to do the double crochet over double crochet and two in the center so we'll have a total of four double crochets chain three it's always a chain three here on the edges of the pattern two double crochet exactly the same thing and again one per space now chain two one double crochet two together chain two one double crochet two together it's going to repeat the same thing as we did here on this side and continue until we meet here again to close in with a slip stitch so it's just a repeat exactly what we just finished doing when you get to this edge you have to do the same thing so you'll have four and four and chain three on the center one two three four row four so i'll meet you at the end okay going into row five 
So I'm going to come in. So I've closed in with the slip stitch. Come in with a single after my slip stitch to chain the what do you call my double crochet. And then I next space double crochet. We're still doing increases. So on the last one, two together. So this row will have four double crochets. It's about eight rows like this with the increase. Now, if you want to go bigger, you can. Just make sure that you stop at even numbers so everything else can fall into place. And I'm making a mistake because when I'm yapping, I can't concentrate. Two chain. It takes, I guess, some time to get used to recording and talking and concentrating. Okay, so double two chain, double crochet, double crochet, two together, two chain. Now on this row here and the next rows at the edges, we're going to skip the first one and work on the second double crochet. On the next row, we won't skip it, we'll work right on top of it. And then the next one we skip again, then the next one we don't skip again, but only at the edge. Okay, so double crochet, double crochet, and we're going to add two together inside of the three chain space. So we have two, four, five double crochets, chain three. Again, two double crochet, and it will be the same thing on the other side. One for space and we don't do the last double crochet we'll have five double crochets also on this side and of course we have to do the same thing skip the first one and then do double crochet with double crochet which is three and then two inside exactly like we did here chain two and then do again your increase on the last double crochet two together so we'll have four double crochet Okay, just like that. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've closed in with a slip stitch. Did all my increases on the last double crochet. We skip the first one here. Do our five double crochets. That means two on the center, three chain. Continue and skip the last one. So once we've done the slip stitch, come back on the same one. Do your single and your two chain next space we're still doing the increases we'll be doing the increases until row eight so two together on the last one so basically we started with two three four five and then six seven eight until the last one which is two four six eight nine we'll have nine double crochets on the after we've done these eight rows chain two and continue to do your five double crochets again two together on the last one that's our increase chain two now because like here you see we didn't skip so we'll have two rows that's one on top of the other this one we, sk we skipped on here now this one we don't skip, so we're just doing double crochet over double crochet. And then two double crochets in the three chain center. And we're going to repeat the same process on this side. Chain three. Two double crochet in the center one per space and we go all the way to the last one so the next row we have to skip the first one again and we don't do the last one so let's just continue to repeat exactly what we just did here 
in here, and I'll meet you at the end. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, row six. And here it is. So going into row seven, again, coming in with a single after you've closed in with a slip stitch, two chain, one per space, and crease in the last one, two together. Two, four, six. Chain two and repeat the same thing on this one also. So I've done my two, four, six double crochets, two chain. Now this one we're going to skip. So like I mentioned, there's two rows. It's one on top of the other. We skip one. And then these two on top of each other. We skip again. So next row, we don't skip. So all together, starting from the start, it's 10 rows before we change the pattern. Like I said, if you want to go bigger, then you would just continue and then stop at even number. So in this case, because I'll have 10 rows, that's including with the first two here. So it's eight of these plus these two is 10. So it's just a repeat now until row 10. Okay, and then after row 10, we're going to change it up again a bit. So continue yours. I'll continue mine. There's nothing to it. It's just a continuation. All you have to remember is the next one you have to do on top because we just skip now. Okay, and then the next one, we skip the first and skip the last. Okay, so very simple like we have here. So we started with a two. We did on top. We skipped. We did on top. We skipped. We're going to do on top, okay? So I'll meet you at the end of row 10. And then increase on the last two, two chain between. Don't forget, it's three chain there, right? So very simple, nothing to it. Chain three, and then two inside of the same space again. And then one per space. And we don't do the last one the same thing as we skip the first one okay so i'll meet you at the end of row 10. okay everyone so i finished doing row 10 that's counting right from the first one here we have nine double crochets on these groups and we have 13 on each side of the edges okay so now we're going to change up a bit We will be doing an increase on here, but on the fifth double crochet and not at the end. This row 11 will be all about double crochet. So I'm going to come back in after my slip stitch and doing one per space. So I have my second double crochet, my third, my fourth, and on my fifth one, I'm adding the increase two together on the same space okay so one per space one two three four on the fifth two together and then again one per space in the space of the two chain we are going to do two double crochets and repeat the process again one two three, four, and on the fifth one, we have our increase, five, and one more on the same space, and then one per space again, okay, so I'll meet you after we do the two double crochets there. So I've done my two double crochets and now one per space. 
So this stays the same. We're just doing double crochet over double crochet. And in the center here of the three chain, we're doing the same thing. Two together in the same space, three chain and two more in the same space. But I'll meet you here at the edge just to make sure. So one per space. So I've reached my three chain here, doing two inside, chain three, two more inside, and then one per space again. So we're just going to repeat exactly what we just finished doing. So inside of the two chain, we're going to do two double crochet and then one per space. On the fifth one, we're going to add two together exactly like we did on this side. And just repeat the same thing as we've done on here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished my row 11. I've closed in with the slip stitch. I'm going to come on the next one and pull my thread to the back. Just because I don't want that line to, to show up too much on the pattern. And then I'm going to come in the next one and I'm going to do a single. So basically it's on the third from the edge here. Okay, so we close in with slip stitch, grab it into the back, and on the third one we do a single, chain two. Next space, double crochet, chain two. We're going to skip one space and come into the next one. There's going to be a little bit of changes on this row, so you have to pay attention. So for now we're skipping only one, but it's going to come to the edge. We're going to be skipping two times, so you have to be careful. Skip one, double crochet, next space, double crochet, chain two. Skip one, into the next space, and then double crochet, chain two. Skip one space, create your two groups of double crochet, one per space, okay? We're going to continue to do that by skipping only one until we get here to the first one where we have the edge, okay? And then I'll meet you right here because nothing, now it just stays the same, okay? And then I'll tell you how many groups I have. Don't forget, you could always look ahead at the video to see what is happening here with the pattern and to make sure that you're on the right uh, step with it. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much did my second one right at the edge. That's where it falls by skipping only one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of two double crochet by skipping only one. Now we'll be skipping by twos, okay? So chain two, we're going to skip one, two. On the third space, we're doing double crochet. Next space, double crochet, chain two. Skip one, two. On the next space, double crochet. Next space, double crochet. Chain two, skip one, two on the next space, double crochet, and again double crochet. That means you're supposed to have two left at the end that we're going to skip. So we have one, actually it's three groups, and if you want to count this one for skipping the two. Okay, so we have one, two, three spaces that we skipped the two if you want to look at it that way too. And now, chain two. We are going to go inside of the first chain here with one double crochet. Next space, double crochet. This time we're doing chain five, two, three, four, and five. Into the same space double crochet and into my very last space double crochet so we still have the groups but this time in the chains and with a five chain space chain two we're going to skip one two we have to repeat the same thing on this side so we're skipping those two and creating so we'll have the three groups here the same way or here i should say the same way as we have here by skipping by twos 
chain two, skip one, two, and into the next one. And again, chain two, skip one, two, into the next one. So we have one, two, three, and four, right? Because we still have those two. So we have one, two, three, skip one, two, and we're right at the edge here exactly the same way as we have here one is right on the chain and the second one is right on the edge so we have the same thing one on the edge and one right on the chain here right now we have to continue to proceed the same way as we have here the rest is skipped only once again until we get to this one here exactly what we did on this one here right so very simple now it's only skipping by one one ch uh, two chain and skip one into the next one and create your groups again chain two skip one into the next one and we're going to continue until we get to this one here, which is the beginning of the other edge. So you're supposed to end up with the two double crochets here, one here and one here. Okay, so remembering that we are going to skip one and we're gonna fall right into the one that's right into the chain and then again chain two and then skip one two come into your third one now in case you're missing one or you made a mistake somewhere just put two together and just skip it one two on your third one okay so no biggie so we're gonna have the same amount of uh, space here as we did on the other side chain two and then skip the last two come inside of the first chain do your double crochet next space double crochet chain five two three four five and then in the same space double crochet and then on the very last chain double crochet and then chain two skip the first two come into the next one and then it's just a repeat again until you come to the end so now we have to skip we're going to end up over here again, one here and one here, and then skip my one only. Okay, exactly like we did on the other side. Chain two, skip two into the next one. Chain two, skip two into the next one. So we'll have those four spaces again. One, two, skip two, one, two, and here we are. We ended up at the edge the same thing as we did on the other side chain two now we skip one and we continue to skip only one so we have one two three and four so we have four spaces here that we skip two and then everything else is one i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so i pretty much finished doing all my groups now counting from the one here where we have the edge of the five chain from this one here to the other one you're supposed to have 26 groups on both sides the same thing so 26 on this side and 26 on that on that side in case you made a mistake and you have 25 just go back a few space put two together in the same space skip one and create your 26 groups or your 24 groups it has to be even number okay so going into row 13 we're going to do the walk 
I call it the womp with the slip stitch. Of course, my, my stitch is always so tight into the center of that two chain with a single and two chain. So now we have a double crochet and one, two, three, four chain for space. So I'm coming back in, I'm creating a V inside of this space. Okay. But before we go any further, just to make sure, I'm just going to do one more here into the next space, no chain space between them. We're going to create a double crochet and one chain and a double crochet. So we'll be creating these V's, one of four chain, one of one chain, one of four chain, one of one chain, one of four chain, all the way around the same way, except when we get to here. I will come <coughs> and show you exactly what we're going to do at the edge here. It will be a little bit different. I'm just going to uh, grab my black thread just so it can uh, stand out the pattern so you'll see as I'm going to do that little pink edge around. It's optional for you. Okay, I didn't find my black but I did find my dark blue which is fine because these are just samples anyway. So I'm going to do a slip stitch knot and I'm going to come in anywhere for that matter. It doesn't matter where you start off. Let's say I'll start off here. So you want to grab your thread from the back after you do your slip stitch knot and we don't want to have a huge loosage there so I've grabbed my my thread from the back now I'm just going to go in each space here and we are and you don't want to make that tight because if you do it's going to pull on your pattern so make sure that you, if you have a tight tension use like a two or three size bigger hook for this okay we don't want to pull on the pattern so you really have to give it loosage and this is just in between the rows there okay so simple before we go any further because then it will be harder for you to do this if you have uh too much length here to get a grip on the thread here okay so just one per space slip stitch that's all it is nothing to it and give it a good loosage because it will pull on the pattern quite a bit we don't want that so if you have to use a two three size bigger hook go ahead to give it that loosage and we're going to do this all the way I'll meet you here at the corner because here uh, we'll have to go inside of the chain of the stitch there okay so I'll just continue that and I'll meet you there okay so I've reached the edge now on the edge we're just going to go where we did our double crochets right inside of that chain into the next one into the next one and then right into the double crochet again so very simple and we'll do the same thing on the other side also make sure you don't get your threads twisted up below separate the the combs one to one side one to the other because it can get wrapped up in the back here okay so and then once you get to the end you just tie in loose ends i'll show you once i get there so I've reached the end. I'm going to come back in where I started. And then I'm going to grab a smaller hook. I'm going to turn my pattern to the back. And I'm going to come in the next one and pull this thread to the back. Cut my thread. Pull inside so sort of like make a knot and then just come in through some of the blue back here and just tuck in 
a couple of times your thread so it doesn't come apart, right? You want to have it nicely tucked in. You want to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Then you do the same on this side to the one that you started to work with. Now I'm just going to cut it because I'm taking it all down afterwards. This is just a sample, but there it is, okay? And then you'd continue on with, just get rid of the, the blue. Okay, so back to our V. So we did the double crochet one chain and one double crochet next space. Double crochet, chain four, two, one, two, three, four. Creating that V again. Next space, double crochet, one chain, and double crochet. So we're going to alternate that way. V, one chain, V, one chain. And then I'll meet you here at the edge. So, just on the last one is the V. We're going to come inside of the five chain, do one double crochet. one chain, two double crochets, one, two, three, four, five chain, come back in, two double crochets, one chain, it's just repeating exactly what we've done here. Coming into the next space, creating our V again, so double crochet, one, two, three, four, chain, come back in, and create your double crochet. So now we have our Vs here, and then do your double crochet, one chain, and double crochet. So it's just a repeat now all the way around. When you get to the other edge, you have to do the same thing right after your V on your last space there, okay? So I've reached the end. We've started with a single and two chains. I'm going to come in my second chain with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to come inside my V's and we're going to work seven double crochets. So single, two chain. Actually eight double crochets, sorry. That's with my uh, single and two chains. So we have four. Five, six, seven, and eight. On the space that we have one chain, that little V of one chain, we're doing a single. Coming again, creating our eight double crochets inside of the V again. So basically this whole row will be like this. When we get to the edges, instead of eight, will be nine double crochets. So nothing to it. Two, four, six, seven, and eight. Single on our small V and then proceed again. So I'll meet you at the edge just to show you how we're going to work that. So I'm just getting to the edge. Now where we did that one uh, double crochet and one chain, we're going to come in with a single. And inside of this five chain, we're going to create nine double crochets. So that's the only thing that's different in this row. And we're almost done. We have two more rows left. Which the last, the second row 
of the two. The last one is peacocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to come back in. Whoops, not there. Where we have our one chain with a single. Into the V and start creating your eight double crochets again. So very simple, nothing to it. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've reached the end, closed in with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do the walk until the third double crochet. So one, two, and three. We're going to do one, two, actually, let me go back again. So we're on our third. We're going to come back in with a single, two chain, and one for space. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet, one chain. And last, not last, but before last space, double crochet. So we have five double crochets. We skipped the first two and we start on the third and we'll have only to skip one left. And it has to work only this way in order for it to fall properly into place. Don't ask me how that works out, but it does. As long as it works out, I don't care. So skip one, two, come into the third one. Double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Sometimes patterns are a little bit strange how they work to work out that way, but that's how it goes. So again, another five double crochets starting on the third double crochet from the previous row. One chain space, and we have we don't do the last one. Skip the first, the second, come into the third. We're going to continue like that all the way to the edge, okay? The edge will be a little bit different. So I'll meet you at the edge. Just continue to do your five double crochets and I'll meet you at the edge. So we're at the edge. Now this time we're only going to skip one. We're going to come into the second one with double crochet, one chain into the next one, double crochet, one chain into the next one. So far we have three. Next one, four. One chain, we're coming back into the same one as we have the four. One chain into the next one, one chain into the next one, one chain, and then to the next one. So we're not doing the first double crochet and we're not doing the last. So we have three on each side. One, two, three. These are the middle, the two together. One, two, three on the other side. Again, skip one, two into the third one and proceed the same way as we just finished doing on the other side with the five double crochets and one chain space in between them not doing the last double crochet. Okay, so we have our five again. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much closed in with a slip stitch. I'm going to come into my space. This is the last row. So I'm going to do two singles next space. Two singles. I'm going to do three chain and peacock. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain this time. Coming into the first one that we closed in with a slip stitch. One, two, three chain. Coming in again and single. I'm going to come into the next space and create my two singles 
and two singles again. So I have my three peacocks with three chain, well the two side ones and the middle one with three uh, with four chain. Coming again on my next space, two singles. Next space, two singles again, one, two, and three. Coming in, single, one, two, three, and four. Coming into the first one with slip stitch because I want it to be closed in. That's why I'm doing slip stitch. One, two, three, chain again. Coming into the first one, single. Coming into the next space, one, two, singles, next space, two, singles. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that and I'll meet you at the edge. So we're getting into the edge. So basically, you know where we have the two double crochets together. That's where we'll do the peacock. So two singles per space and then we have these two double crochets so we'll do it here one two three four slip stitch one two three and then single to close off and then continue again two per space and we're going to do this all the way around and then I'll come back and meet you and we're going to do the last slip stitch again through the motives here okay Okay, everyone, so we pretty much finished doing the edges, as you can see here. I'm going to come back with my blue, and we're going to do the same thing as we did on here. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to, you can start anywhere. So where we have the eight double crochets, we're going to grab the thread from the back, bring it to the front again. And we're going to do one per space. Now make sure that your tension is not too tight. If you have to take a two, three size bigger hook, then you're good to go. So one per space, nothing to it, just like that. All the way around and same thing, um, getting into the edge. We can get, that's why we can't have too much of a long space here or else we can't really uh, get a good grip on it. So just slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. And go all the way around. And getting to the final edges, which is on here is no different. So you would just continue and do it and go all the way around. And it will look beautifully once it's done. So pretty much we are done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have a little video and pictures and display at the end. Thank you to every single one of you. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. And be part of this journey with us. I send you much love, much hugs. Thank you so much to every single one of you and for the people that have donated to the channel, either through the Super Thanks or the Super Chat or through my PayPal account, which is in the description box. I send you much hugs. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care.